Hi everyone, this is Frances Keenan. We are here for Shokugeki no Soma, third season, episode 19. And in the last time, we had Soma going against Akira winning, and now we finally see that all the rebels uh, got defeated. Uh, we do not see Megumi, we do not see Takumi, so maybe we're still gonna see their fights in this episode, maybe. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. Um, one more. Irina showing more affection to Soma than. Uh, and Akira got expelled. Oh, and of course, all the rebels lost, so they, of course, are expelled. Which means, for sure, that. Soma gonna defeat everyone and by the end of the season and everyone gonna go back for sure because we're not gonna have uh, a full season without them so we still have what four episodes left or something like that then Soma has a lot to do in these episodes so let's go and see now Ah. It's really impressive that they defeat really strong opponents. I mean, we do not see who it is and all, but we know that they are like members of Elite 10. Hmm. Oh, Rindo. Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh! They lost already? Oh, damn. I was expecting to see um, a fight between them. Ah, damn it. And now Edina is probably feeling uh, guilt for. Um, having pushed them so far. Declaration of War. So... Wait. Um... Wait, what? Okay. Okay, that's why Rindo is the best of all. Like, see, she just wants to have fun. She just wants to see the chaos. Um. I mean, we don't know for sure if they should or not, but... Oh? Oh my gosh, he's really thinking what I'm thinking? Wow. <laughs> Amazing. I mean, it's obvious. I mean, that's true, but the thing is... How are you gonna take the seats? Okay, that's a good... That's maybe the only uh, way. But the thing is... <laughs> Poor Megumi. That's what I want to say. How are they gonna? Why are they gonna accept? <laughs> uh, Megumi, Megumi's probably uh, in a level of elite ten. 
There was a long time then we did not see Megumi in a really important <laughs> you know, but he of course he's not gonna listen to her request. <laughs> wow. Uh, Rina looks like more uh, a daughter than of uh, Azami than Irina. Yeah, he's not gonna listen to her. I think it was really... It, again, it's really good to see that her doing that, but it's also pointless. He not... Ah, Soma. Again, really good, but he don't have any reason to accept. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, what he gonna do to... Wait, 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 wait. How? When? How he disappeared here? Okay. <laughs> And uh, Sezai Mon as well. Okay, interesting. Oh. Okay. What if? What are he gonna offer? Wow, of course he's gonna accept. Yeah, he he gonna accept. He's gonna train them. <laughs> Poor Megumi. <laughs> it is really strange because someone did not notice that he does the same things. Every time. And look, Gin helping, like, <sighs> I would say that, um, Joy Chiro is the main character of the show, and Gin is, like, the second important character. Who is Soma? Who is Takumi? Megumi is still best girl. <laughs> oh my god, a long time that we did not see her doing that. <laughs> oh yeah, the Mesa Luna is still with Soma. Oh, okay. So is individually? Oh, okay. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, but like, that's not much thing that you can. In fact, like, she's still member of the Litan, so I think she still could do more. But she's completely like controlled by him. It's really hard the mental trauma that she had. The things related to this. Wait, 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 what? I, 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 what? <laughs> I, I would be like exactly like Megumi if, if he, someone decided to add that rule by nowhere. What the fuck, Sensei Mo?
interesting, very interesting in the ending when we saw um uh not at the end of the episode when we saw uh Irina talking about they are testing them. Um that's really really interesting. It's something that I totally see them doing and it, but it's also not something that uh, we often see someone doing with Irina. And since then, for her perspective, is really interesting. Um, I, I have to make a second to just appreciate how much Megumi developed as a character and as a person, um, as a chef, as a whatever. Like she is a completely different person. Than she was when we first saw her uh, panicking in the kitchen. Even if she still uh, retained something um, of her at the time, like writing down and eating, like you know, um, this this stuff. Um, what makes her her? What makes her her good? Um, and it's really cute, really. Um, Megumi in a really amazing way you could see how much she's turning to June um, way in the beginning I, I, I compare her with June and also with the other second seat of Tilly 10 uh, was the second seat of Tilly 10 um, I forgot her name the one that is completely obsessed with Megumi. Um, right now she's going way more with June's path, um, but I can also totally see her uh, going to the other woman as well. Takumi going back to the main character's main character's uh, square with Megumi, with Soma and with Irina, that's really good. Uh, there's a long time that we did not see them doing anything. It's sad for his brother, but I'm sure that we're gonna see more of them in the next season, not only um, Isabi, but also all the other characters they got, they got expelled. Um, Irina development also I say that multiple times during the episode, but it's really impressive in this season. Um, she is fighting back, of course. Uh, I say she could do more. Yes, she could do. She's a member of the Litan. She, we see how um, Ishiki did way more than her, for example. Um, even if I, I don't, I, I'm not gonna say for sure. Because I, we still don't know exactly how, what is his plan, but I can say that her father probably would think twice before uh, letting Irina out of Tilly 10. So of course she could do more than she did, but again, I cannot really blame her. She is completely brainwashed for him, and this is not something easy to get out. She knows that is wrong. She don't want to be, and she don't want to do the things that uh, her father wants her to do. But it is really hard to go against that. One thing is she wants. One thing is making. Um, how can I explain that? Remember when Alice go and um, kidnap her, and she was like, "No, I cannot. I cannot go. Like the way is, I I cannot live without father and something like that." And after when they run a little, and she, okay, I have to go back to father. Like she is completely um, broken, and she is becoming better and better but this is not something that will be um, resolved fast uh, it's not just a matter of she now knows that she don't really needs him 
but like it is really hard it's a completely brainwashed scenario and and worse than that it is her father so like it has an emotional connection um it's not an emotional connection like a family connection with that uh, it, it is really complicated so I, I don't blame her so it's the same Soma, Soma is the same ever he did never change like and this is really good usually when the series try to do that with characters um, they don't do that in a good way but I think Shogeki no Soma did a very good job with him in this case. I also really like the scenes with Joichiro and Gin. They are really funny. Um, and we're gonna have Team Chokugeki soon now. How this is gonna work? Um, against Elite 10. We still have new members of Elite 10 that we don't know who they are. And now that Akira is not more a member, we're gonna see an, another new member, maybe? Who knows? Um, I have to go because my computer battery is dying. So yeah, I see you guys in the next episode.